Hello and welcome. So today we have yet another great free plugin for your consideration. It's by Analog Obsession and it's called Rare and this one is an EQ. Now like so many of Analog Obsession's plugins, it is actually based on a particular piece of hardware. And the piece of hardware in question is this one. So I mean straight away you can see the similarity between the plugin and the actual unit itself. This is called the Pultec EQP1A. And this first came out in around 1951, so particularly old. The actual hardware unit would set you back easily 5,000, maybe even $6,000. However, of course, the plug-in costs nowhere near as much as that. So let's have a closer look at the plug-in before we then have a listen to what it can do. So it is a three band EQ and we're going to start on the left and just go through it in a little bit more detail. Starting on the left, there's quite simply an on off switch. No explanation needed. Next we have a low shelf EQ and it's got these three controls connected with it here. Now the one on the bottom is somewhat mysteriously labeled CPS, which just means cycles per second, which means Hertz. So this is your frequency selection. There are four frequencies to choose from, 20, 30, 60 and 100. But you can't choose any values in between those four. The two knobs up here, one is labelled boost, which is probably obvious to you. That's where you boost in that frequency range. The other one is attenuate, in other words cut and you can cut that frequency range. Now the funny thing is you can actually use both of them at the same time and it's known as the pull tech bottom end trick and we'll be having a listen to how that works as well. So the idea here really is that when you use the boost control, if you then use the attenuate control at the same time, in other words cut at the same time, the cut actually happens somewhere above the chosen frequency. And this can really help in the case of a kick, which we're going to hear today, this can really help tighten up the bottom end. The next band is the mid band, and this is a bell shaped EQ. Yet again, this one has three controls connected with it as well. This one here is labeled KCS, which is thousands of cycles per second. So of course that means kilohertz. So here we've got seven different frequencies to choose from starting at 3000 Hertz going all the way up to 16,000 Hertz. This mid band bell EQ is boost only, so there's no cut on this one. And finally, its third control is bandwidth. So the more you go to the left, the more narrow the bandwidth becomes. And of course, the more you go to the right, the wider it becomes. Finally, we have a high shelf EQ. So this is just two controls. It's got attenuate, which is cut, and there's no option to boost here. And then there are three frequencies to choose from 20 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, and 5 kilohertz. So, where the plugin differs from the original hardware is this screw head here, which is actually the output volume. So, you can turn up or down by 12 dB the output volume. So, I mean, you can use this on just about any sound source. I highly recommend trying it on as many different sound sources as you can. I mean, I've used it on the master bus, so no rules here. But today I'm going to demonstrate what it can do with a kick drum. Let's first of all have a listen to the kick and then let's start playing around with this lovely plugin. Okay, not a bad sounding kick drum sound, but it could do with a little bit more oomph. A little bit more bottom end, in other words. So, we're going to go to our low shelf, of course. I'm going to select frequency of 60 hertz, and we're going to start by boosting. So, let's have a listen to what it can do.
So as you can hear, it really beefs up the sound of our kick. All of a sudden, lots of bottom end, lots of thump. Now what we're going to do is we're also going to attenuate the bottom end. Now the idea here is with the attenuation, we're going to try and tighten up the sound of the bottom end that we've just added to our kick. Let's have a go at that. Okay, it does a really nice job of tightening up the bottom end. It stops it getting too boomy. So let's have a listen to the before and after of what we've done so far. I'm going to play back. I'm going to start with the plugin engaged. As we're playing back, I'll turn it off. Okay, I think that's a, quite a big improvement to what we had. But let's go a little bit further. I'd like to get a little bit more of that kind of smack sound, if you like, back into it. The point where the beater hits the head of the drum. So we're going to go to our mid band for that, which of course is a bell EQ, which of course as well is, is boost only. I'm going to start at 3 kilohertz, going to do a boost and then I'm going to switch around and see which frequency range gets me what I want. Let's go for that. Once I went to 8K, then all of a sudden I was really hearing that smack that I wanted to hear in it. So all in all, really nice result. Yet again, let's hear it before and after. Going to start yet again with the plugin engaged. And as I'm playing back, of course, I'll switch it out. All in all, a much better sounding kick than we had before. Now what I'm going to do, just to finish up, we're going to play it in the context of all the drums. And I'm going to switch it on and off as we're playing back again and hear how much of a difference it makes even within the context of the whole drum kit. Yet again, I'll start with the plug-in engaged and of course switch it off when I'm playing back. There you go. Really fabulous sounding plugin. More than worth your while to go and download it. And as always, to make it easier for you to download it, I've put a link in the description. Also in the description, I've got the links for my three courses on Udemy. Please do check them out as well. Okay, thank you again for checking out my video and I'll see you in the next one.